Hi guys, it's Roy from Bellados 3 d here with a quick tip about normal directions. As we all know, when you're importing or exporting objects into game engines, the way game engines operate is if the face is the wrong way round, or you're looking at the back of a face, it will be invisible. And in Blender, by default, you can't see that. All faces are rendered on both sides. Now, you could actually go up to your shading buttons, there's a little tab there, and little option there, back face culling. And what that'll do is if I go into this cube now and I select a face and I press Alt N and flip, it shows that that face is now invisible, which is great because you can see which face is the wrong way around, you can fix them. But it's a little hard to work out on complex models which faces are the wrong way and which are the right way. So what we do is we'll turn off back face culling because there's another option we can use to show which way the faces are pointing. And that's under our show overlays drop down menu there called face orientation. And what this does is it shows every face that's in the correct direction in blue. And then finally, all the faces that are in the wrong direction in red. Now, this is great, but again, it makes it difficult to work on because that's an obnoxious, horrible looking blue and it just bleeds all the detail out of your model so you can't tell what you're doing. So there is a way to keep this feature on so we can always see these red faces, but have the normal faces in the normal gray that Blender displays things in, or even in texture. So what we do is we go to our preferences tab under edit, we go to preferences and we go to themes and we scroll down to 3D viewport and open that up and if we scroll down until we find the blue and the red color for the face orientation under face orientation back and face orientation front we can click on the face orientation front and in the alpha we can then just bring that down to zero and if we close up the options now you can see that our model is now perfectly normal exactly how it would normally be except for the incorrect faces are in red. It's a lot easier to keep your model with the normals facing the right direction because you can always see if you've got one the wrong direction. And as I can see, that one's the wrong direction. If I select everything and press Shift N, it recalculates the normals and everything's back to normal. I hope you found that useful and I will see you again in my next video.